hello guys good morning so today i'll be talking about how to grow your edges all these your edges your airlines how you can grow them back because there are so many there have been so many questions about this and i said i'll be treating the topic one after the other so let's dive in first of all what you need is to avoid tight hairstyles that is one thing avoid tight hairstyles secondly always put on certain uh, bonnets and certain hair ties when you want to sleep before going to bed make sure you put on your hair certain hair bonnets don't just leave your hair like that because as you lay on the bed that side you are doing maybe to squeeze it to become very dry or with your certain bonnets and hair ties it can prevent that dryness and make it moisturize throughout the night before you wake up Another thing is, please, always moisturize your edges. Always wash and moisturize this, your edges. Sometimes when you apply very strong and um, hair creams or hair butters, they will be very, very thick. And they can go and clog your pulses on your hair. They can clog the pulses and, uh, and prevent growth in that area. So when you always apply or moisturize your hair and wash your hair thoroughly, it always open those pores and it give room for hair growth. And please always use warm water sometimes when you are, you know, washing the hair, especially your hair lines. And also apply moisturizers is very important. So that is that. What you'll be needing for your hair lines to grow back to make it quicker. One thing you will need is this. You will need rosemary leaf this is it rosemary leaf one you will need glove seed rosemary leaf glove seed these two and you also need bay leaf please get them all these things are spices they are in the market this is bay leaf this is how it looks like bay leaf these three ingredients what you do is to put them in a container or any rubber Put hot water, turn hot water, just take like one, one spoon. Bay leaf, like three or four leaves. You can take three or four leaves of bay leaf. Then take this one, like a teaspoon. You know those tea, rubber spoon they use in party rice? Use it to take half of this. Half, very little, half. And take half of this as well. Not too much, because just take little, little, little. Then take like four or three bay leaves. Put it in a container, pour hot water on it. Leave it for the next 12 to 24 hours. After that, you see the concentration will enter the water. Then you sieve the water and put it in your spray bottle. Any of the spray bottle you have, put it in any of the spray bottle. And spray on your edges, all your edges. You can even spray it on all over your head. But spray on your edges every day. That is the water you'll be using for your hair. That is just the water. Don't use any other water. Spray on your edges every day. That is your spray water first. That is that. Then, then any of these three I'm going to mention next. If you know any ones you have, you can be using on your edges. First thing you need is onions, cooking onions. Normal onions, we all know. One. Then you need garlic. Garlic. Any of this garlic. Just cut your onions. You can take this full one, medium-sized onions. Then three or four garlics. Just remove it. Then blend it in your blender. Blend the onions and this garlic in your blender. Use a blender to blend it. Add a little water. After blending, then you sieve. You can use those wicker to sieve it. Sieve it in your spray bottle again. Another spray bottle. Then sieve it in your spray bottle and add like one teaspoon of oil. Coconut oil or olive oil. Any one you have. You can use any oil. Mango oil, uh, avocado oil, any of the oil. Just put one teaspoon of oil inside and start spraying on your edges that is one start spraying it on your edges every time two what you need you can use aloe vera this is aloe vera just cut it into half if you have aloe vera all the time you get access to aloe vera you can use aloe vera cut just be cutting little little cut little from this one split it into half and cut it you can see the gel coming out. That gel, use it to rub all your edges. I've done this experiment before. You need to rub all your edges of your hair every day. Be doing this at least three, four times a week. If you can't do it every day. After applying it on your edges, you now take your oil. 
any of the oil, maybe coconut or olive oil, and apply it, add the oil to your edges and just leave it like that. First one, I say you should use what? Um, um, onions and garlic. Blend it. Sieve it in a con in a spray bottle and start spraying it on your oil. That's the one one of it. If you have it, if you don't have that one, if you have aloe vera, use aloe vera. Cut it little by little and be spray using it on your hair with any hair oil that you have. Then the third one, third method is castor oil. Castor oil. You no know, castor oil is very good. It helps in hair growth. Castor oil. If you can have access to castor oil. If you don't have access, go and buy one. Castor oil. You know castor oil is very thick. It's kind of thick. What you do is this. Take um, one teaspoon of castor oil and very little of either coconut oil or olive oil. Add it to the castor oil. And start applying it. Put, you can put it in any container that you have. Any container. And start applying it on those edges every day. Start applying it on your edges. It works very well. If you continue these things, be consistent with it, your hairline will grow. Definitely. Mark my words, it will grow. If you use any of these three methods I've just listed here, consistently, consistently I don't know, <laughs> anyone. So you use it all the time. It will grow your hairline back. And mind you, I said something earlier. Your tea, your tea, hair tea, Make sure you include these gloves, rosemary leaf, and bay leaf in your tea. Always spray that one on your hair. And most importantly, always moisturize your hair once a while. Let's say once a week, once in two weeks, but always moisturize your hair. And keep applying this method I just listed here. If you don't have spray bottle, get an ever can. Ever can that have uh, something like this, this kind of uh, cover. Use nail to put hole, like three hole or two hole. It's already a, 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 a spray bottle. You can use it as a spray bottle if you don't have spray bottle for now, before you can get one. So try all this method, guys. It works and it will help your hairline to grow. And I also say don't make tight hair styles. Tight hair styles always have tension on your hairlines. It breaks a lot. Avoid tight hair styles. It doesn't mean because it's tight that's going to be beautiful. Most of you want to make hair. You say, I want my face to come out. I want it to be shiny. Before one week, it has already um, scattered. The hair is no longer beautiful. So why put your hairline at risk just because you want beauty? So make loose hair styles. Don't let it be tight. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. Please share this video, share and give me love and like. Love you all. Bye.